www.andrewmarkmusic.com. Um, I wanted to comment on a video I just made called, um, oh, what's it called? Oh, protest musicians, where I said that every country in the world is fascist, and I wanted to correct that. Um, to my knowledge, as far as my definitions, I believe that there's at least one that isn't fascist, and I believe that's Iceland at the present time. Now, there may be others. I believe in South America there's some that aren't. I think Bolivia perhaps isn't. Um, anybody is welcome to, to put a list on the comment section of countries they believe are not fascist, and I'd like to, you know, review what's going on in those countries. Um, I think, you know, from what I understand, Australia and New Zealand under neoliberalism have gone fascist, more or less, you know, it's very close, like North America has, uh, you have fascism, you know, coming up, rising up uh, on the continent in Europe. Um, there's um, a distinction to be made with Islamic fascism, which is a top-down theocracy uh, based on um, a book, uh, a very, <laughs> very, very, uh, I've read it, uh, you know, there's not much in there that I can think is even worthy of, of uh, consideration from a rational perspective. So, but they seem to want to, to have a Islamic fascism based on this book, um, so we can take reason there and just... <laughs> Perfect out of the universe. Why do we need reason? Why? <laughs> I don't, why do we need reason? We don't need reason. Well, we can have Islamic fascism, you know. Um, yeah, we know that uh, that Russia and uh, China are top-down fascist states now, so it's complete corporate control within a capitalist system, which is fascism, um, with, with uh, authoritarian rule, uh, restriction of freedoms, uh, uh, the abandonment of personal liberty, uh, well, personal liberty being dismissed as anything relevant or important um, within a culture, and this is becoming the, the global surveillance state. So there you have it. So, uh, you know, I think that what the, uh, one of the other things that is very, very consistent with, with this rise of fascism in, in you know, the last hundred years, um, what pervades most all of it, other than the Islamic version of it, is the central banking Viet currency uh, system. Um, Fiat currency fractional reserve lending system, this seems to be a common denominator uh, throughout all this fascism. Um, so uh, the, these bankers uh, seem to be right in the middle of all of it, you know, and then, you know, we know that fascism is, uh, from the other end, it's, it's the corporate, um, you know, behemoth, you know, it's, you have the bankers, at the root of all of it and on top is the corporate behemoth and um, uh, you have you know personal liberty taken away you live in a culture of surveillance uh, where everything they, they know everything they know about you um, you really don't have any freedom here because they're you know they're just checking every move you make you know um, so this is you know this is fascism um, how, how do we get out of this? Uh, I, 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 you're asking the wrong person. Um, I've, I've been saying anything I've said on this issue since 2005 is nobody, nothing can stop this. So um, I, I don't know if I'm a fatalist, perhaps. Um, I don't think it's nihilism because I have alternative metaphysical views that explain this. But um, thanks to the horror of religion, and, and, and the faulty premises of atheists about what they believe could be true about the universe, and they dismiss it all, um, any hypothesis that um, could explain it rationally, you know, uh, it, it, if you can't consider these possibilities, then I just see pedal to the metal of, 
of global annihilation. Anyway, www.andrewmarkmusic.com. <clears throat> Peace.